Functional groups are a lot. I need to work on those. A lot of memorizing, still to do. Welcome to Study With Us, where I'm helping Ari and you get an A in Organic Chemistry 1 this semester. In today's study session, we are trying 13 practice problems on identifying functional groups. If you want an A this semester, I recommend downloading these practice problems and trying them out with us. All you need to do is sign up for my email list using the link in the description, and I'll send you these practice problems on functional groups, plus all the resources Ari will be using to get an A this semester. Whenever you're asked a question like, find the functional group or, yeah. you know, label it, identify it. It's kind of like one of those games mm -hmm. that you'd play where they'd ask you, oh, find the water bottle in, like, uh -huh. this, like, huge, like, mess of, like, yeah. pictures. Like, where's Waldo? Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> kind of like that. And that that's pretty much what this is for Okan. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So today we're going to focus on one covering, like, actually seeing what you remember from mm -hmm. the video. Okay. Practicing that. Okay. Then getting into three different difficulty levels. Okay. I also have an ACS uh, exam question okay, nice. that we can also try out. Nice. Okay. So let's let's just dive right into it. I let's like see it. Let's how much you in. remember. Okay. This first question is matching. So which functional group is present for each one of these structures? And we only have one functional group for each structure. Okay. So what do you think this first one is? Um. Let's see. Um, what are you thinking? I, I'm trying to remember the notes. I had screenshotted the little thing that I had, and I'm like, yeah. which one was what? On this one, I'm actually not sure, because this is in our group right here. Or, yes. Yeah? You're right. They're both R groups. They're remember, R groups. groups is like just a carbon chain, okay, like the yeah. rest of the chain. Um, I actually don't know on this okay, one. Okay, let's skip sure. it. Okay. What about this one? Okay, I, I recognize this right here, mm -hmm. the OH bonded with the double oxygen. Mm -hmm. That one would be, ah, and that's the thing, all of them have A's, I feel like. It's one of, mm, it's one of the A's, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? Try it. Ah, okay. Put something down <laughs> and we'll, we'll cover it after. I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay. I might be totally wrong. What about this one? Um. Okay, a double oxygen to a carbon. Oof, I should have watched the video more than just the one time. Um, How many times do you think you should have watched that video? I did it the first time with notes, and okay. I like watched it, and then yeah. I did practice problems with you, so I like paused it, and then I would go, and then I would unpause it and see if it, which ones I got right. And I felt pretty good. I was like, yeah. okay, I'm ready. But then I think I just started forgetting, so. Um, it's something with like doing practice problems with your notes. Yeah. And then once you have them, like when, once they're gone, you're like, right. I don't remember then I'm anything. Like, What's on my notes? Yeah. I like know what I have it into. I'm like, it's this color right here, but I can't remember. Um, this one. Just put something down. Just okay, try something. Okay. I'm like, I just can't remember which ones were which. But. And a lot of them start with an A. I yeah, know. that's the thing. I'm like, it's hard. This one was. Um, I know if I see it. This one. And then the oxygen to... I'm glad you immediately went to that, because this is kind of like meant to throw I know. you off. I was like, I'm just going to go with what I do recognize. Yes. Good. Um, and it's not this. Um, is this one carboxyl acid? Oh, wait, I don't even know. I just want to even talk about it right now. Um, let's see. This one is... And then double bond, R groups. Um, now I'm looking at them and I'm like, what was the ether again? I'm just gonna go with ether. Okay. This is a shot in the dark right now. Okay, these are so odd. How do you think you did? <laughs> I probably got a D or an F. <laughs> this is probably, I think I got one right. I'm pretty confident on this one. Um, and I may not be, that may be wrong, but. <laughs> okay, so they're all wrong. Oh my God. <laughs> they're all wrong, but uh, this is just a huge thing to be like, I need to watch that video. I need to also just keep practicing uh -huh. and doing more practice <laughs> problems without my notes. Without my notes. Because I, I would say also that like students take a quiz or mm -hmm. an exam and they're like, I was doing a great job when mm -hmm. I was practicing, but you right. had notes. Yeah. yeah. You know, instead when you're doing practice problems, 
You Close your notes. Have. Okay. Treat it like a test. Yeah. And that's when you, you should start being like, okay, do I actually remember this? Yeah, that's really when it comes in. Okay, that's a good point. So let's review this. Let's please, yeah. <laughs> now let's go back to each type. And I have added a few. Okay. Just in case you see them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because all professors are different. Some of them like to throw some of those mm -hmm. curveballs. So I wanted to add a couple more just okay. in case. That makes sense. So the first ones that we saw was anything that was only a hydrocarbon. So hydrogens and carbons. Mm -hmm. That's it. An alkene just meant it's a double bond between That's carbons. That's right, yep. There's no oxygens, no nitrogens, none of that. An alkyne, triple bond. Okay. And these are just different ways that we can see it. Mm -hmm. And then an arene or aromatic ring is a benzene ring, really. Mm -hmm. There's three double bonds in that ring, in that oh, cyclic okay, ring. Right. This is another way that you can see it. It's not that common, but just in case you do, mm -hmm. this is really just saying this is a quick way to just draw all of those mm -hmm. double bonds. Yeah. But this is the main one that you'll, you'll see. Okay. Next, there's ones that contain a halogen. That was an alkyl halide. Mm -hmm. You may also hear this said as a halo alkane. Okay. There's also, what is it, organohalide, mm -hmm. organohalogen. Yeah. I don't know why they have so many names for the same <laughs> thing, but just in case you see that. This was just really carbon chain next to some sort of halogen. Could have been any one of these. Okay, I remember so, this. Yep. So you're going to keep seeing X, mm -hmm. but X isn't a thing. It's, it's kind of just a placement, like a holder there, yeah. to tell you that it could be any, any one of these halogens. Okay. And then we'll get into, into what, like a methyl primary, secondary, tertiary is. You mm -hmm. have not seen this yet, but I do want to bring it up and start having you kind of like Working be ahead. Okay. Yeah, and, and start to just, like, if we do that early, then once you see it, you're like, I already know this. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's good. So, so far, so good. So far, so good, yeah. So then going back to this, can we see why this is not an alkene? Yeah, because that one is just with carbon and hydrogen bonds only, and it has double bonds. Exactly, so, so let's be? take that off. And then this would make it... We don't know what it is what just it is. yet. Okay, okay. And then what about this one? That one, I was thinking this one, but it doesn't have the double, the three double bonds. So exactly. that's what it was. I just saw the shape and I was like, oh. Right. We thought, okay, it's cyclic. Yeah. <laughs> Had to have been this, but nope, has to have the three has double bonds. Has to have bonds. the three double bonds in it. Okay, that's good. Then moving on to the ones that have an oxygen, which is pretty much all oh, of these. All of them, yeah. So the first type was an alcohol, mm. and that's just an R group or a carbon chain connected to an OH. Okay. Next, there is a difference here. This is going to be dependent on your instructor. So if they go over what a phenyl is, then I'd say yes, know that. If they do not, then this could be considered as just an aromatic ring or a ring. Oh, yeah. And an alcohol. Okay, because of the height. Okay. Or, again, if they do cover this, then yes, this entire thing, that uh, aromatic ring connected to an OH group, mm -hmm. then this would have been a phenyl. Okay, that makes sense. Next, the ether, which is what you're like, I'm not sure <laughs> what it is, but that's kind of this oxygen, like right in the center mm -hmm. between two carbon chains. Okay. So let's go back to these. Do we have that? An oxygen, like kind of like interrupting no. a carbon chain. Mm -hmm. Does it have to like mirror it also? Is it like same shape on this side, oxygen shape? It could same be shape? it could be different. Okay, so okay. So it could be different. Like this one is mirroring it, mm -hmm. but I could have said, oh, what if I had something completely different and put that up there? Oh, I see what you're saying, but it'd still be an ether. Yes. Okay. Um, no. So that one's not an ether. Mm -hmm. But do we have an ether and out of any of these? Um technically would this one be an ether? It would. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because that oxygen is connected to carbon chains. Oh, yeah. Two carbon chains, right? It's kind of mm -hmm. like it's interrupting. Right. Interrupting that carbon chain. Oh, okay. That any, makes sense. Any other? Um, this one also, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is a type of ether. Okay. Now, there's also another thing to note, an epoxide. Mm -hmm. So an epoxide is actually a type of ether. So some professors might include this for functional groups, some may not. Mm -hmm. I wanted to include it just because we will see it later on. Mm, okay. So an epoxide specifically is going to be different from a cyclic ether. So I kind of just want to start off with saying that an epoxide is a type of cyclic ether. Mm -hmm. Cyclic just meaning it's an oxygen kind in of interrupting, okay. exactly, in that cyclic ring. 
The epoxide is a cyclic ether, so it's a type of it, and it has three atoms in the ring. So three atoms in the ring. Oh. Same thing here. So this isn't interrupting that mm -hmm. ring. Instead, it's kind of like just sticking Almost out. Okay. And it's always going to have that sort of shape where it's kind of like triangular, and at mm. the point, it has the oxygen. Okay. Versus that cyclic ether, this is still a type, right? Mm -hmm. They're essentially the same. Both. Okay. But now this changes. This is this is not considered an epoxide. It's a cyclic ether or ether. Okay. Same thing here. Same thing here. Which because we just saw. it has more than three atoms yes, in the ring. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That so then sense. going to this one, though this is an ether. Mm -hmm. If we had the option to like place that it is an epoxide, mm -hmm. this would have been classified as epoxide. Would one be more correct than the other, or it just depends on the professor? It depends on the professor, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So I I I would think that they would either have, um, if they were actually trying to be tricky, one of those ones where it's like all the above or both A and B, you know, yeah. and like A and B was like Econ ether and epoxide, yeah, that'd be the you one. know, then that would okay. be a trick um, and it would have been both of them. Okay. But I would probably think that the majority would just put epoxide. Okay. So, uh, and that would be correct. Okay, that's good to know. But, but yeah, I, I would say that this is technically both, again, just because an epoxide is a type of ether. Okay. Yeah, cool. That makes sense. So almost there, we're mm -hmm, getting there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got this entire first row. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to the ones that have that double bonded oxygen. Right. So this is referred to as a carbonyl group. Mm -hmm. So everything with the carbonyl, again, just that carbon double bonded to oxygen. Mm -hmm. And they all look super similar. Right, yeah, yeah. But the main thing that's changing is pretty much just the end portion of this. Mm, yep. An aldehyde has a hydrogen versus a ketone does not. And an easier way to remember this, mm -hmm. like the difference between an aldehyde and a ketone, is because this has an H. It has an oh, H. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Just like little things to try little to remember. Hint. Okay, good, good. And then a ketone just has two R groups. Again, they can be the same, they can be different, Wait, doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm gonna stop here for a second, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go back to this. Do we have either an aldehyde or a ketone out of any of these? This one to be an aldehyde. Yes. Oh my yeah. Okay. There you go. And then ketone. Technically, would this be a ketone? It would. Oh, okay. Because this is an R group. R group. Pretty much like a different or a carbon chain here, carbon chain uh -huh. here, and that's it. Oh, okay. And that carbonyl group. That's so that's nice. a ketone. Okay, that's awesome. Then continuing on with the carboxylic acid. You were debating this one, <laughs> yeah. and your second choice was actually correct. <laughs> I always do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it, this one would have been a carboxylic acid, the one that we thought was an amide. Yeah. Because I it the is OH connected to OH. And then I was like, wait, I remember that was, okay, yep, yep. Uh. And something, and we, we can change that. So okay. it's no, the, no longer, or it's <laughs> not an amide. It's a carboxylic acid. Perfect. Good. Let's switch that out. I'm just going to slide it off. There you go. Cool. And something really important to note with, I'd say all of these, is seeing how the bonding is. Okay. So noticing that this carbonyl group or this carbon mm -hmm. is directly connected to the OH. I'm going to say that as a hint for the, the pretty much for the rest of the class. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be super important because if this was connected to another carbon chain and then there was an OH, like if this continued... We didn't have that OH there. Yeah, okay. And it was like separate here or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That is not a carboxylic acid. It has to be directly. It has to yeah. be directly connected as we saw here. Okay. Instead, this would have been a ketone. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Just two R groups. Yep. Mm. So keep that in mind. Okay. So we corrected that portion. Next, we have an ester which is really similar. The only difference here is that we no longer have a hydrogen. It's a different carbon chain. Okay. And then this one isn't, isn't too common. Uh, you're pretty much gonna see this a lot in organic chemistry too, but oh. just in case mm -hmm. you do see it, it is an anhydride, mm -hmm. which looks very funky. It has two carbonyl groups. Mm -hmm. It has kind of like this portion that look like an ether, Yeah. but it's not. Uh -huh. So we would have this entire portion of two carbonyl groups, and in the middle is that oxygen separating it. Okay, so could I say right here then that the center part would be like the ether, and then 
this is right here what's making it an anhydrous? Does that make sense? It, it does. I don't want to necessarily say that this is an ether because that's going to trip you up. Okay, yeah. okay. So just the whole thing is Just the, uh, that entire portion, yes. Okay. So do we have an anhydride? This guy. Yep. Yeah, let's see. Good, there we go. So let's just finish this one up. Okay. So we have an acid chloride. Mm -hmm. Now this could have been a different halogen. However, I'd say the main ones that we see is chlorine. Mm -hmm. And then the last one here is an amide. So that does have a nitrogen. So let's now go over the functional groups that have a nitrogen. Now an amide can look like pretty much any one of these. Mm -hmm. There's three different variations. You're soon gonna hear this as this is a primary amide or secondary or tertiary. Mm -hmm. Now all this is referring to is how many R groups that nitrogen is bonded to. Okay. So in this case, this nitrogen is only bonded to two hydrogens. Mm -hmm. There's no additional R group or carbon chain. Mm -hmm. Versus secondary, only has one hydrogen and it is bonded to a carbon chain. Okay. And tertiary, there are no hydrogens. It's bonded to two R groups. Mm. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky because you're like, these look so similar. They mm -hmm. both have a nitrogen in each one, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Main thing here that I'm gonna kind of use as a trick to try to remember this, this is tall because of that carbonyl group. Oh. This is taller than that. Than the, okay, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Little tiny things, mm -hmm, I know, mm -hmm. but that will help you remember on an exam. That makes sense. This one does not have an oxygen. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have that carbonyl group. Instead, it's just that nitrogen bonded to an R group, making this a primary amine. Okay. And then secondary, now there's two R groups mm -hmm. and only one hydrogen. Okay. Tertiary amine has no hydrogens and there's three R groups. Okay. And again, those R groups, those carbon chains can mm -hmm. be the same or different, doesn't okay. matter. Next, there's gonna be a nitrile or cyano group as we could also see mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And it could look something like this where we don't see that carbon. So there yeah. is a triple bonded nitrogen. Okay. And it can look tricky, I know, because you're so used to seeing this, the, yeah. the carbon and the nitrogen, mm -hmm. but this is another way of showing the nitrile. Okay. And a nitro group, this is not common, but again, I put it just in case, mm -hmm. uh, it could be written out Different ways could actually be shown with the bonds or just an NO2 to okay. symbolize that it's a nitro group. That makes sense. The next portion here is the ones that contain a sulfur. Mm -hmm. So a thiol has that SH and it's connected to an R group. Mm -hmm. Sulfide or thioether is kind of like really similar to ether. However, it's instead of an oxygen, it's a sulfur. Okay. And this next one, that thioester is similar to an ester it's mm -hmm. just no longer that OR group. It's a sulfur instead of oxygen. Okay. So does thio always have something to do with sulfur? Or is that a It does. Okay, it always it does. has to do okay, with I sulfur. Okay, I can connect that. Yes. Okay. The, the main thing here is going to be remembering, does it have a hydrogen? Is it an R group? It does it have a carbonyl group? Okay. Yeah. So I know this is a lot <laughs> to remember, <laughs> uh, but I would say that do as much as you can to remember okay. this because okay. Organic chemistry literally classifies reactions and everything with this knowledge. Okay. Like you're gonna see reactions of alkyl halides, um, reactions of alkenes, alkynes, and you have to automatically know what that's an alkene, at. yes. Oh, I see exactly. So this is all building from this, like Correct. the rest of the class. Okay. If we don't know this, then you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. Okay, I'll start yeah. working on it. Okay, so we got this down. We're gonna keep practicing. Let's do it. So this one specifically is gonna ask us to just identify one functional group in the given structure. Okay. So we have identify the aldehyde in the following compound. Aldehyde. So I want you to, whether it's with the string or with the little circle, identify where the aldehyde is. Okay. Talk it out, what do we think everything is? And aldehyde, is that one related with the it is. It is, okay. Carbonyl group. Carbonyl yep. group, that's what it is, okay. And that one's the, I'm just trying to remember which one's which one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> don't show me, don't show me. Let's see. Um, that one is the carbonyl group with two R groups. So what was our trick here? Aldehyde. Aldehyde had hydrogen on it. Yes. Oh, my gosh, that's right. Yes. It said here. But then, oh, what does this look like? That looks like an alcohol. 
Or are you talking, is that what you're talking about? Hold on. So it, that looks like an alcohol, but uh -huh. that's directly connected to carbon Oh, yogurt. yeah, yeah. So that's a... Oh, my gosh. See, this is the part that gets tricky. Okay. You said this. It have to be... Look through. Maybe we can try to remember. Is it? You remembered it the first time. Double guess yourself. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Okay. So that's a carboxylic acid. We're not going to put it just okay, yet. Okay. But because we're looking for an aldehyde. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a question. But mm -hmm. but you are you are right where you're thinking. Okay, this is has that carbonyl group mm -hmm. right with that oxygen. I'm gonna make this easier to see. I'm just gonna put a carbon here. Yeah. And we do have a hydrogen in that aldehyde and some sort of R group, right? Some right. sort of carbon chain that Something continues. Something else. Mm -hmm. So then... Is there anything that looks like that? No. No. So but... Oh. This is, yes, this is a trick oh, question. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> so what is the answer? Okay. This is a trick question. <laughs> and the reason for that is because there's other ways to draw an aldehyde. Sometimes we don't show hydrogens. Remember mm -hmm. in organic chemistry, sometimes we just, we removed those hydrogens that technically yes. are there and right. we had to know them. That's something else that they do for aldehydes. So I want you to be oh. aware of this. So instead it has to be at the end because nothing else can be connected. To hydrogen, right, yeah. And then it could, again, we can flip this around and have it look like this, oh, I but see it's what you're always at the end. That carbonyl group is always at the end. So now knowing this. This well, guy right Yes, there. so it can look like that. Right there. That's the aldehyde. Exactly. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. That yeah. works. And that's that's and that's actually meant to trick you. Oh. Like all of these, you'd have thought, oh, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's that. Nope. Uh huh. It right, because be it end. has to be at the end. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Okay. Okay. We're still going to keep with this one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to label each one. So you found the aldehyde. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Um. This is an ether. Wait, I'm remembering ketone? Yes, Okay, that's ketone. what it was. I was like, it's not either then. Okay, ketone, this little guy. Mm -hmm. I won't do the little circle thing. It's okay. But I need a bigger this. one. Oh, yeah, maybe there's more. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Right there. Cool. There you go. And then... What's that one? This is an ether because it's a... Oxygen with it. No, it's not. Wait. Because it's not interrupting it's not the interrupting. carbon chain. That's mm -hmm. why. But it has the carboxyl group, so then. Carbonyl group? Carbonyl mm -hmm. group. So then, would it be. What made this a ketone? Describe uh, a ketone. So, my understanding is. The carbonyl group, mm -hmm. and then the R group, and then the R group. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's this? That Oh, it's the same thing. It's the oh same thing. Oh, my gosh. Thing. It's in different Because, shape. yeah, and then sometimes it's, like, easier to just look to at just it. To just, like, yeah, to throw just, everything else out. Exactly, and go from that carbonyl oh. group and directly see what is it connected to? A carbon chain. What is it connected to? A carbon chain. I see you. Oh, that makes sense. So we have two ketones next yes. to each other. Oh, Okay. And then... It's Where's Waldo? Organic Chemistry Edition. <laughs> this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is... Yeah. And then this one's this one, right? Yes. Carboxylic acid. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. We're getting it. This is how you get me, though. I feel like I'm playing a game. I'm like... <laughs> I, I like it bit. though. I know. I don't feel like fun. I'm studying right now. This Why is so nice. Why can't we do this in class? I know. I would have enjoyed it more. Our chemistry would have been so good if it was like this. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. This is it. Okay. So we're, we're getting it. We're seeing that, okay, that was a different way to show an aldehyde. There is a hydrogen there, mm -hmm. technically. I know mm -hmm. it's not shown, but it is there. That's weird. Yeah. I know. That it, is a good thing to It know, is. Mm -hmm. But we are going to keep seeing that. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Let's go on to this one. And again, this one specifically is asking us to find the ether. The ether. Okay. So let me actually double check real quick. Yes. This is in the right position. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Ether would be into this guy right here. 
Perfect. That, yeah. There you go. Exactly. And I'm just going to put this a little bit larger just so we see that it is an oxygen oh, connected to two R groups. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Easy so far. I hope so. I don't know. It always gets harder. Okay. Label each one from the group and the other one. So each one again. Okay. We can do this. Um... I'm trying to make sure there's nothing on this one first. So this is my carbonyl group. Good. Two R's and an O. Wait, what was that one? You said it earlier. What was it with hydrogens? Um. So I like where your head is at. You went to this and you saw that's connected to an R group. Wait, that's not an R group. Uh -huh. That's an oxygen. Mm -hmm. So it had to be something different. Uh huh. But yes, could it have been? I was okay, it was. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Because that is connected to another R group or another carbon chain. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. So, Esther. Oh, there she is. And I'll have you circle it. Oh, this might be easier. Thank you. Circle those two. Cool. Um, this one, the two R groups. Oh, I should have looked while I had the paper. Um, the two R groups yep. was. I said it earlier. Oh, not on the hive. Am. Is it. Am. Hmm? It's not that one. Know. That one had a nitrogen. Oh, that's right, it did. Um. Al alkene? Alkyne? So remember, those yeah, were double and triple bonds. Alkene, oh, yeah, that's double right. bond, that's alkyne, right. triple bond. Triple. Okay. I'm just trying to remember the... If we don't know, we can skip it. What's And maybe look at a different one, if there is another functional group here. Is Are these the same? No. Why do you think they're the same? Well, I just saw the double bond on the oxygen, and then I was like, oh. And then this goes to our group, but doesn't have anything else on that side. What is technically here? A carbon, right? Is that what we're talking about? Think about that. What is, if carbons are always shown uh -huh. with a line, right? Yeah. But if there's nothing else here, what is it actually telling us there is? A hydrogen? A hydrogen. So it's an aldehyde. It's an aldehyde. Oh, I need to get used to that. It's going to trip yes. me up. Yes, it was this again. So again, we can keep flipping this around, and you're going to keep seeing this back and forth. And it's at the end. It's at the oh, end. Okay. There's nothing else here. There's only one other carbon chain. Think of this as just, it's just a carbon, right? Uh -huh. This is connected to the carbon. This doesn't show anything, but there technically is hydrogen that's actually there. That is so trippy. So let's get, we'll, we'll get used okay. to seeing it. That, that will be good. All right. But yeah, that, that's an aldehyde. Okay. And then, okay, I'm going to get those down. Let's see. This guy right here, um, I'm just going to go through my, like, head what, where they were at. Let's go for see. it. Talk it out. Because it's two R groups, but then and they right. continue to more, and then it goes... This was a quiz. Put something down. What this do you think it would quiz? be? If it were. I would say... Is that wrong? That's correct. It is? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's correct. So we'll, we'll look at this again. Because I know that... Yes, I knew it. This okay. is probably going to be the one that takes a while. Yeah. Because they look so They're similar. So similar. Mm -hmm. But aldehyde has an H. Mm -hmm. Ketone, we tend to confuse those. Mm -hmm. I know they look really similar, but again, has an H, has an H. Ketone is two R groups mm -hmm. with that carbonyl group. Yeah, okay. Carboxylic acid has that OH. To the bond and then the R group, okay. Ester has that OR group, also has an R here, so that also oh, helps that us. Helps us. Yeah. 
It has an R at the end, yes. Okay, Esther, Esther. And I know these aren't as common. Actually, these two aren't. This one we will see. Am I, okay, that makes sense, and these two, yeah. You ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. You want to stare at this for a little bit while I, I, I prep like, the next I one? I wish I was. Yes, please. I <laughs> photographic I memory. Photographic memory right now. <gasps> okay. Are you going up difficulty? Yes. Oh, actually, oh. sorry. Not, not yet. Not oh, yeah. yet. Okay. Not okay. Yet. I was like, This oh, is still no. difficulty okay. level one. Okay. <laughs> I put several for one because I know that this is a lot. It's all just so new. I will get this down now. This will happen. Because this is pretty much just like, it's just like drawings. It is, it's true, huh? And you're like, like trying to make them. sense of it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next one. Oh, this is sulfur. Good. Okay. Which one? Um, <laughs> the SH one? You're right. Is it? Yeah, yeah it is. I was just trying to remember that this had the, but that didn't really mean anything to me. Okay, this guy right here. Good. Let's circle that one. Yes. And that one's because it has the sulfur connected to the H, and then there's two R groups? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Or really, it's, a, it's an R group. It's just, so okay. it was just one carbon chain, but this was our main giveaway. Oh, okay, okay. And then... And then, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep okay. doing... Okay, good. We'll keep doing this. Because you could have different questions. Sometimes they'll ask That's you to true. label all of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just want you to one find thing. one thing. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Um... This is where it has three. Oh no, what should we make it? Talk it out. What are you thinking? There's three. Uh huh. So, and there's one oxygen. What was that one? I can't remember. But there's an oxygen. Good. There's two carbons. Mm -hmm. And it's not the other one because it has exactly three. It starts with the. Um, we have our options. Is anything ringing a bell? Hmm. Is it epoxide? Good. That's it correct. is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, it was close, there, but there's like three E's on here, and I heard which one is which. Okay. Which is a type of ether. So yes. Okay. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. And then this one would be, um, is that one just sulfide? It is. It is? Yes. So, because that would basically mean it's an ether yes. and a sulfur together. Exactly. Okay. It looks similar to an ether. It just has a sulfur instead of oxygen. That makes sense. I like that. Right there. Cool. What about this one? Oh, that one is my... Um, Acid chloride. Yes, that yeah. one I'd say I is like probably that one. easy. <laughs> yeah, that one. It's kind of like within it. <laughs> that one I can do. <laughs> and that one would be all of this, right? All of this. Okay. Yeah. This entire portion, including that R group. Including it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. This one wasn't terrible. This one wasn't too bad. I was really. It's when we have the carbonyl group. When we have so many of them. I think that's what it yeah. is. It's like there's an R, there's an OH, there's an just an yep. O. Yeah. That's when it gets tricky. You ready for difficulty two? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're still gonna label everything. Okay. This time it looks something like this. That's so scary. There's still a whole hour left in this extended version of this video where we go up in our difficulty level and cover trick questions you need to look out for. If you want to be on track to getting an A this semester just like Ari, then sign up for my email list using the link in the description to see exactly what videos to watch and practice problems to try. All right, I'll see you in the next study session.